Hello there! Would you believe it's been a remarkable 52 years since the beloved TV series MASH 1972 first captivated audiences? This timeless show has woven itself into the fabric of our childhoods with its enthralling tales lingering in our memories. If you're eager to delve into the nostalgia and uncover all the untold truth, this video is for you. So, let's embark on this exploration together right now, shall we? Jamie Farr played the character Corporal Maxwell Q. Klinger. She was 38 years old when the TV series ran in 1972. Check it out, at 90 years old, she's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Toledo, Ohio. The party of what? Dinner? Yes, sir. What is this? Well, let me see. For your appetizer, the last of the macadamias. Followed. Neo in a little village outside of Tokyo called the Sakamachi with Far East Network. And Red Skelton's son, Richard, passed away from leukemia. He wanted to... Harry Morgan played the character Colonel Sherman T. Potter in the TV series when he was 57 years old in 1972. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on December 7, 2011, he left us after pneumonia at 96 in Brentwood, Los Angeles, California. We're really feeling the loss. Served within Europe. His name's Wheatley, and he's a stickler for regulations, especially hair length. We used to call him Old White Walls. I'll pin my hair up under my head. He was very human. Very... Uh... Uh, wonderful character. Pretty much. Gary Berghoff played the character Corporal Walter Radar O'Reilly. He was 29 years old when the TV series ran in 1972. Fast forward to today, he's a lively 81-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Bristol, Connecticut. Lieutenant Commander Cornfield, he's on the carrier Essex off Vinchon. I can reach him by code for the next four hours others in Butte County. All donations will go directly to the North Valley Community Foundation and their Northern California Fire Relief. David Ogden Steers played the character Major Charles Winchester. He was 30 years old when the TV series ran in 1972. Sadly, on March 3rd, 2018, he left us due to bladder cancer at the age of 76 in Newport, Oregon. His passing deeply saddens us. Unfortunate or completely understandable error. I've seen, uh, take it back and go back, and uh, I had some ideas about stuff, and occasionally it worked uh, <laughs> rather nicely. Mike Farrell played the character Captain B.J. Hunnicutt. He was 33 years old when the TV series ran in 1972. Here he is, at a cool 85, chilling in St. Paul, Minnesota, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by his side. Look at this. The motor pool keeps sending me greasy sheets. They clog up the drain. I can't get them clean. My hands are turning into two little raisins. We that kidding each other and didn't leave our chairs between shots, that contributed, in my opinion, to... William Christopher played the character Father Francis Mulcahy in the TV series when he was 40 years old in 1972. December 31st, 2016 was a tough one. He left us due to non-small cell lung cancer at 84 years old in Pasadena, California. It's a sad loss for all of us. Together, lovely fellow, happy, water skier, paratrooper. There's a bit of a sugar, actually. Goodness, that is not my my concern. But they are predicting Do not that this to. is no. going to be the show that will be the heaviest watched show in the history of... Loretta Swit played the character Major Margaret Hotlips Houlihan. She was 35 years old when the TV series ran in 1972. Here she is at a cool 87, chilling in Passaic, New Jersey, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by her side. Somewhere to be alone. Major, I know how difficult it is to be cheerful here, seeing so many people wounded and so much death. But we could have it alone. Uh, after they saw me and put me on a list of, I guess, uh, callbacks, uh, I had an offer for a movie at Universal. So Wayne Rogers played the character Captain Trapper John McIntyre. He was 39 years old when the TV series ran in 1972. Sadly, on December 31st, 2015, he left us due to pneumonia at the age of 82 in Los Angeles, California. His passing deeply saddens us. 
in the Bible. I picked at the end, Frank. The devil did it. Shut up! Get off of there. Hey, don't get physical, Frank. You'll blow your saint to it. I've had just about as much as I can stand from you. And, uh, I, I mean, you look at what goes on today, almost anything goes, so it wouldn't really matter. But, uh, I mean, forgot. Alan Alda played the character Captain Benjamin Franklin Hawkeye Pierce. He was 36 years old when the TV series ran in 1972. Check it out. At 88 years old, he's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Manhattan, New York City, New York. No, he's been gone over two years. He's got a toy store now. Oh, read, please. One of our, I'm so proud that we, we the this center, center for Communicating Science, which I helped start at Stony Brook University. Larry Linville played the character Major Frank Burns. He was 33 years old when the TV series ran in 1972. April 10, 2000 was a tough one. He left us due to pneumonia due to complications from a cancer operation at 61 years old in New York City, New York. It's a sad loss for all of us. What's wrong with Klinger? A soldier stands in your office in an evening gown and you ask what's wrong? manager taking 15 percent you got an accountant taking five you got the government taking 51 and you were married a couple of times oh yeah and the wives get 50 percent each time oh, right yeah. i tell you something wow. <laughs> kelly nakahara played the character lieutenant kelly yamato rn she was 24 years old when the tv series ran in 1972 sadly on february 16th 2020 she left us due to cancer at the age of 72 in pasadena california her passing deeply saddens us your feelings. It's just that I, I never saw you, you know, in that way. You never saw me, period. And why? Just because I'm not five foot nine and slinky with long... McLean Stevenson played the character Lieutenant Colonel Henry Blake in the TV series when he was 45 years old in 1972. February 15, 1996 was a tough one. He left us due to a heart attack at 69 years old in Los Angeles, California. It's a sad loss for all of us. She took up tennis. She wears those short little skirts. Lorraine has gorgeous legs since her varicose vein operation. I got, uh, no, I was proud of, boy, they got up for it and lost that sucker 55 to 3. Broke the record, and there's no...